I, I'd never work further back in the chain. Yeah. I'm quite happy and comfortable where I am. I just personally think if you can't slaughter an animal yourself, then how can you justify eating it? I'm going to hoe into the uh, spring onion. Cool. Uh, when and what topic have you disagreed with someone on? <laughs> Veganism, I think, <laughs> is probably the biggest one. I think as humans, because it's traditional and because we've been doing it for so many centuries, we've been eating meat. I think it's hard to consider not doing that. My boss that I bought the shop off actually, uh, he drove around the corner and another butcher shop had the, up the road had their front window broken and his front window was broken as well. God. And whatever they, um, whatever they threw through had a note on it that sort of, you know, the meat is murder or right. whatever it was. I was, I went through this really angry period where, and I wasn't like, I wasn't yelling at anyone, I wasn't going to butcher shops, and, but I was like, I was furious um, because when you find out that there's hundreds of billions of animals that are getting, you know, slaughtered and chopped up and, and their lifespans cut short and the majority of them are raised in abattoirs in these horrible circumstances. So do you think that's considering that do you, do you understand why people get so angry about it and why they, yeah, why uh, they do things like... Well, if you're a vegan, you're obviously passionate about it. But at the other end of the scale, there's people that come in the shop that are so passionate about cooking it. And as soon as people yeah. are passionate about it, if someone disagrees with what they're doing, sure. then they can get angry about it. And it depends on sure. what people's But I think it's is. about the ethics, don't you think? Like it's when, pe when people are passionate about veganism, they're passionate about the like the suffering of the animals, right? But when people are passionate about cooking, it's more about the food. In, in my mind, I can't justify for myself eating meat anymore because I, whenever I see like salami on the plate, I see what's happened before that and the animal that had this life and these feelings and the pain it went through just for that, it's not worth it to me. If you have animals that are, uh, you know, uh, bred for mm -hmm. consumption, yep. um, Sometimes they don't get looked after the right way. Uh, everything that comes through my shop, they're brought up the right way because there's no uh, reason for them to be mistreated mm. before their end anyway. I, I'd never work further back in the chain. Yeah. I'm quite happy and comfortable where I am. I just personally think if you can't slaughter an animal yourself, then how can you justify eating it? That's my, kind of my point of view. To tell you the truth, I don't put a whole heap of thought into it because if right. you put a whole heap of thought into it, it'd, uh, I think it'd bring you undone. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So, Have I sparked any, like, will you go away and think about this more? Uh, yes, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but I do, I, I, I honestly feel as though I do do a somewhat step towards the right direction anyway. Sure. I, I'm in the process of opening a burger shop. Okay. And we're doing <gasps> vegan. Are you doing a vegan option? Yeah, vegan option. Awesome! That's so cool! I was going to leave it for you at the start because I got two dips and you only got one, but you haven't no. done the whole. My hummus is your hummus. Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. It was lovely to meet you. Likewise. Yeah, I will come and try your vegan burger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll let you know where it's at. And... Amen. <laughs> <laughs>